The North Wales School of Arts and Design Building on Regent Street in Wrexham began life as an infirmary. It was completed in 1839 and replaced Wrexham's previous hospital, the Dispensary. It was designed by architect Edward Welch and extended upon in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, but ultimately it was decided that the building was no longer large enough to house the hospital. In 1927 it became the Denbyshire Technical College building. It now houses the art department of its successor, Glyndua University. I'm Jackie Kiff and I'm doing the fine art um, degree, so my first year. Okay. Um, What's it like working in this building? I love this building, um, the age of it, the style of it, the pillars outside, even the view from the windows, really interesting. All of us have painted that view many, many times. <laughs> but when I first came here, there was a, there was a big block of stone yeah. in the centre, and uh, there's a channel running through it. <laughs> uh, yes, I know. And apparently this was the room used for, for dissection, apparently. Ooh, so. Yeah. Mm. It's got a nice atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's, it's genuinely really good. It's nice, spacey, spacey. I think because yeah, I think it's because it's away from the other campus. It's a lot more. It's a better atmosphere because it's just art students there. So it's a lot nicer to. You can just sort of walk around and have a look at everyone's work and everything. Yeah, there's a lot of freedom between the classes. Like, if you were bored or you wanted some inspiration, you could go to, let's say, fine art or photography, check out what they're doing, so you can get some ideas from them. It's quite inspirational seeing everyone else in the work as well. However, despite its positive atmosphere, it's an old building. And like all old buildings, it's showing signs of disrepair, like cracks in the floor, water damage on some of the ceilings, and rusted window frames, as well as an antiquated heating system. However, we were unable to interview the caretaker, and so could not get an insight into the extent of the disrepair. Are there any parts of the building you'd like to change? Yeah, sorry. Honestly, uh, our room. Yeah, I think we've got a wall that doesn't need to be there, and behind that wall is like shelves and stuff that would be handy. We have a really small room and a pretty big class. I think the only thing that we've discussed that we would change um, would be the cafe, we'd turn it into more of a common room, okay. television sofas, you know, more of a gathering place so that all the years can meet and get to know each other better and okay. you know more informal surroundings. Obviously, we have a lack of. Space. Mm. I mean, this is my yeah. studio space, and we have to keep putting our work up mm. to view it and do things with it. And there's just not enough space. Plus, we're kind of cramped. But then, having said that, we've learned to work with yeah. each other, yeah. and that's part of being an artist. Yeah. Is there, there anything about the building that's influenced your work in any way? I mean, you talked about the Definitely view out the window. Definitely the window view, yeah. Um, doing photography, we've been using the building, parts of the building uh, for our photography. Parquet flooring, um, nice staircases, ironwork, uh, stained glass um, pictures on the windows. So we have actually used the building because yeah. of, of the way it is. Yeah. I think it's just the, the light um, and the atmosphere and it's relaxing, mm. uh, it feels like a proper art college, Yeah, it's not part of the, un the university down the road, it feels so like I'm in an art college, not yeah. in a university mm. doing art. Yeah. When I started in Regent Street, um, it was in its original form, so um, there was very little lighting, um, and there was only one computer. <laughs> in the entire building? In the entire building. If, if the building were to close and the departments relocate to a more modern building, how, how would you feel about that? I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I, hate yeah. it. I, I would be upset. It would make a difference. Yeah. It would. The atmosphere in here. I, I'm not a modern building person. I live in a cottage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would be that bothered, mostly because as long as I have a space to work that is a nice environment I wouldn't be bothered as far as that's concerned but as far as the history of the building I don't think it should close because no, like, really the, like the atmosphere of the building it's like it's a nice place to work I'd be really sad <laughs> um, it would seem that despite the building's limitations in terms of size and age the students and teachers that work here wouldn't have it any other way <laughs>